how are we now everyone so just a real quick video here um, this does not work the way it's shown here this is not anything that's going to function or give you any kind of energy that you're easily going to be able to run your house it just does not work that way and uh, that should be well understood now uh, just by the simple demonstrations I've done and the simple explanations I've given uh, that uh, this device should, for best, for the best attainable results, should be run in disruptive discharge. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to explain to you. This is quarter wave, so there's this coil fits, half of this coil fits in here eight times. So half of this whole length of wire fits in this piece of wire eight times. We, 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 we're going for half because half of this coil is north and half of this coil is south, right? Half of this coil is north, half of this coil is south. So this is a, uh, um, this is four times the length of this, like the entire wire, and four times the length of that. So you, you can see how this mathematics here with quarter wavelength, adds up to 2,500 watt, uh, volts in and uh, raising the voltage up to 10 kV, right? That's what this should be, or damn close, depending on uh, the turn ratio. Now, I, I just wiggled, the, I just threw this together, so it's not calculated. This was not a calculated device before construction. So, uh, but, uh, but going by that, so uh, 25 joule, when these are filled to 10 kV, that's 400 joule. That's 16 times the amount of energy from this capacitor to those four capacitors. But this capacitor is only one quarter of this capacitor. But the voltage is raised four times, so the joules raise four times. So again, like when I blast this, I put the energy in, it makes a magnetic field, induces it to these wirelessly tuned resonant coils when that collapses so when when the energy comes in and it energizes these get energized there's energy on these on the incoming energy when that pulse ceases and this energy that is induced on here collapses you have the ambient coming back in the inrush current which is <laughs> if this is going to be 10 kV here from the transformer action through on the on cycle we've got 10 kV collapsing that means that the potential of this ambient energy coming in is substantially more than 10 kV. Because, I mean, that's what we're getting through transformer action. So if this was, say, 100 amps at 10 kV, uh, now this isn't 100% correct because it does not... It, it, the mathematics works out like the voltage gain works out, like the joule gain works out. So if this is... 100 amps at 10 kV, it's not actually 25 amps at 2,500 volts. It's less because there's, a, it, there's not that many amps there. But there is when you raise the joule and discharge that all at once. So this is 120 amps at 10 kV, but at, at that's 400 joule. But at 2.5 kV it's only 25 joule so it's certainly not 120 amps these are 480 amps when fully charged DC at 10,000 volts and all that energy is released in a nanosecond through that through a massive amperage increasing voltage reducing transformer whether it's that or the coffee can or, or anything of that nature so Tesla says in his lectures that disruptive discharge is most advantageous my question is over what and my answer is everything known to man have a great day